And so now there's a demand in the world to block dictators and the people that support them financially. Well, with the current system, the SWIFT system, it's very difficult to do. It's very difficult to see what's kosher. And we need the next generation of the SWIFT and the money transfer systems that will have the kind of artificial intelligence, deep learning, and understanding who the people are. You know, one of our companies that we're very proud of is Tetaray. Tetaray and Mark Gazidis sitting here is actually building a system with cross-border payments which understands and creates a highway for people who are good, normative, and wants to operate between countries. Because today, transferring money between countries, not only in war times, but also in times of peace, is not so easy. But if you don't have information about the guy or the individual that comes from a bank from a country you don't know, it's very hard to know whether they're kosher or not. And the regular systems which have rule-based systems which are based on the databases of those organizations are not available in real time. So what is it that we need? We need a circle of trust and we need a way and technology in order to guess, quote-unquote, the person or the entity or the organization that's on the other side, whether they are normative, kosher, or whether they're trying to create any harm in according to our value system. So whether it's Bank Santander or BNP Paribas in France, or whether it's Credit Agricole or Citibank in the US, when they receive money transfers from other places around the world, instead of blocking Russia as a blanket, if, they want, if this is something that the international community wants to do, they can identify those people that are creating harm, the dictators, those who support him, and the other people which are um, living their day-to-day -day lives. We have so many people from the Ukrainian, from the Russian community here in Israel that are friends, that are working together, and that we want to um, enable them to work together still. So the people who are abiding by certain principles and abiding by certain standards can operate. The people who try to hack the system, to monitor their own citizens in a way that is not legitimate, and to do things which are harmful to the freedom of individuals and the freedom of other countries need to be addressed. And if we wake up together, there's some of the brightest cyber minds here in the world, and add another value system between right and wrong, not just between the, right, uh, the, the, the high end of technology and the low end of technology, then I think that all of you will find that you have the power to make a difference in creating an international cyber alliance which doesn't only bring the best technologies, but brings our value system to operate in a way that would secure a world which is freer and says no to those who want to infringe those freedoms.